Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about five players that Dallas Cowboys cannot afford to lose for this upcoming 2018 season. This is serious. Woo, cat mode, baby. And happy 4th of July to all of you guys out there. All right. It's time, all right? So, it's been a good holiday weekend. But, of course, we love our Dallas Cowboys here. All you guys cannot get enough news from the Cowboys and discussions. It's been great. All right, it's been it's been a good offseason. We're we're already in July. We're weeks away from training camp. I love it. All right, I love it. But and this is a topic that we haven't discussed yet. In perfect timing. All right, a little uh, relaxing midweek holiday. Let's just talk about some of this here. I'm gonna go over five of my players that we cannot afford to lose. All right, and this will be in order from uh, least to greatest, in my opinion. And like anything else, guys, um, at the end of this list or in the comments, drop a comment and let me know what five players we cannot afford to lose, in your opinion. Or if you agree with my list, that's fine, too. If you don't, that's fine, too. But uh, let's get right into it, all right? Right off the bat, number five, Tyron Smith, all right? Tyron Smith, I feel that uh, he would be higher on this list, but I think that the Cowboys have done a good job protecting themselves by bringing in Cameron Fleming. Uh, they also drafted Connor Williams, who has left tackle experience as well. They have Marcus Martin at guard. So they have, they've improved their depth quite a bit. So I feel good about being able to uh, to take on some, some injury there. All right. So Tyron Smith, like I said, if it were last season, he'd be a lot higher on my list. All right. So let's go to the next player we cannot afford to lose. Number four, Sean Lee. All right. Sean Lee, we know that we will lose him at some point during the season. It's just, it's almost a built-in automatic thing. So, Sean Lee makes this list. Now, I do feel a little bit better this year because we've also upgraded the linebacker position as well with the addition of, uh, you know, the rookie, Dayton Vander Esch, uh, the improvement and progression of Jalen Smith. I like that. The addition of um, Joe Thomas. We, we, we've made good moves there, but uh, can't afford to lose him still. He is the general. We saw how the defense looked when he was out. Um, it suffered immensely. You know, it, It's almost like you want to keep adding these younger pieces and have players that can step up in these leadership roles to, to take on you know, that that field general that Sean Lee is. All right? So we got, we got to have somebody step up in that regard, and I think it might come from one of our secondary players. Um, or somebody might step up and, and surprise some people. You know, Jalen Smith might be that guy. All right. Number three on my list, Demarcus Lawrence. All right. I have him pretty high here because if you lose Demarcus Lawrence, you lose your war daddy. All right. Outside of Demarcus Lawrence, the war daddy type that Jerry Jones likes to, to talk about, we don't have it. All right. We don't have that one-two punch. We don't have that Charles Haley, you know, Tony Tolbert type of attack, a Demarcus Lawrence, Anthony Spencer type of attack. We don't have that. Right now, we just have uh, Demarcus Lawrence, right? Now, we could, we might have that attack this year. And I think there's a good possibility that we will with Taco Charlton, all right? But that's still an unproven. So right now, I'm going, um, I'm going with players that we cannot lose, you know, before the season. So right now, on paper, uh, Demarcus Lawrence would be that guy. You know, Coney Ely might be able to step up. Um, but a lot of these players, you're, you're kind of projecting. We know what we have in Demarcus Lawrence. We know what he's capable of doing. So that's what I'm saying. If we were to lose him, that pressure would be diminished immensely. Um, so he's high on that list, number three. Right? Number two on my list, Dak Prescott. The Dak Knight. I think if you were to lose him during the season, you're in trouble. All right, We got a lot of youth behind him. Cooper Rush looked good in the preseason. All right, but preseason is, is a whole lot different from the regular season. And going up against number ones, number one uh, cornerbacks, secondaries, people that can read can read you, um, it would be uh, it would be quite scary to be honest. Uh, so can't lose Dak Prescott. Um, I do like what they do with Mark White, but he is a rookie, man. And not to say that a rookie can't come in here and, and do his thing. We've seen that, you know throughout the years in the NFL that a rookie can come in here and have a, a miraculous Cinderella type of season. But uh, 
that's not usually the case. All right, so Dak Prescott high on the list. Can't afford to lose him. If we do, uh, it's going to be a bumpy ride, all right? And number one on my list of players that the Cowboys cannot afford to lose, Z. All right? All right, that, that's it, man. We cannot lose Zeke or Elliott. We can't lose him. We, we've seen what happened when, when we did lose him. Yes, we do have a good stable of backs. Yes, I do like Rod Smith. Um, but the other the other guys are going to be battling out there for the other uh, depth positions there. Uh, Bo Scarborough. Uh, Darius Jackson. Trey Williams. Uh Churn is in there, and and Tevon Austin, more of your 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 utility back. So uh, losing Ezekiel Elliott, going to and then going to a uh, a running back by committee. We don't want to. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. It changes the offense completely. All right, it, it isn't the same. It just isn't. You can you can try to make it pretty and say it's going to be okay and this and that, but we saw you know the proof is in the pudding. It, it was ugly. All right. We struggled moving the ball without Ezekiel Elliott. He is a big, he's the biggest difference maker on this team. You know, he's able to, to you know, pound the the defenses with his, you know, punishing running style, um, elusiveness, able to catch out of the backfield. Having Ezekiel Elliott keeps the off the defense honest. Right, without him. Uh, it's an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle. So he is number one on my list. But let me know what you guys think. Who are your five, your top five players that the Cowboys can't can't lose? All right, let's go over my list again. Tyron Smith, number five. Sean Lee, number four. Demarcus Lawrence, number three. Dak Prescott, number two, and Ezekiel Elliott, number one. Let me know what you guys think. Least to greatest in the comments. As usual, guys, continue to like, subscribe, and share. Happy Fourth of July to all you guys, and we'll see you again here later in the week for another video. Thanks guys.